Good morning and welcome back to Youth Wednesdays on the Tobago Updates Morning Show. You're bringing us live in Portmore, Scarborough, Tobago. My name is Dwayne for those who, of you who don't know and just joining. And this morning we are continuing the discussion um, on our interviews um, around um, GCI Tobago. And to have this discussion with us this morning is none other than Miss Kendra Davidson. Good morning and welcome to you. Hi, good morning. Uh, how are you this morning? I am fine this morning. All right, all right. Um, so, so just tell us about yourself um, and, you know, why you're here. Okay, so I am GCI Tobago's president for 2024. Right. I am a mother of two. I'm mm. an entrepreneur and I'm also an accountant by profession. <laughs> so, yes. And tell them where you're from. Tell, don't forget the shame and, <laughs> and tell I am from, from country. the beautiful village of Space Island. Right. right, you're from country. Right, so yes. <laughs> Um, it's a pleasure to have you, um, you know, and it's, it's also inspiring to see that you wear so many hats and I presumably you wear them well. Yes. Um, you were recently um, installed as president, um, but you were elected in November. Yes. How was that for you? How did you feel um, um, being reposed such confidence to, um, to lead this organization? I was happy. Mm and also scared at the same time. Right. Because I can tell you that JCI is a full-time job. Right. So being elected was like, it was an accomplish, a great accomplishment, I must say. Right. And I was ready to take on whatever 2024, well, being the president in 2024 mm -hmm. had to offer. All right. So for the viewers and for those who might not know, tell, tell us uh, what does JCI mean and what does, what, what does it do? Okay, so JCI stands for Junior Chamber International. It's an organization for young persons between the ages of 18 mm -hmm. to 40. It provides leadership development through trainings, programs, projects. I mean, JCI is not just any organization. Mm -hmm. JCI offers networking, self-development. These are the kind of things that JCI has to offer. Right. And, um, you know, you, there are so many um, institutions like this um, across the nation. What are some of the notable differences? Um, what sets your institution apart from the others in your humble view? So in my humble view, mm -hmm. I think that JCI transform young people mm -hmm. into great leaders. Right. We have wonderful leadership development opportunities. We offer training official trainings from the GCI and non-official trainings. Mm -hmm. We have projects and while doing this project, it enables you to be able to manage your time, manage your resources. So it also develop you as, as an individual. Person. Right. Right. And um, you met you, you, the GCI International. Is it that um, this is just a Tobago chapter of it? Yes. Um, and are there so other we exit? have the GCI West Indies as well. Oh. And there are several islands a part of the West Indies. So we have JCI Antigua, JCI Barbados, JCI Grenada, JCI St. Vincent, JCI Dominica, JCI Guyana. Wow. Yeah, so we are... The, is the whole of Caribbean? <laughs> so we're there across the Caribbean. That's really So cool. that's why I mentioned that, you know, JCI offer that networking. It offers great networking because you get to meet people from all across the region. All right, all right. Um, but in the, in the Tobago chapter of JCI, right? And what are some of the accomplishments that um, you, in your tenure, um, you know, being a part of this institution, would have would have accomplished thus far? So I would have joined JCI in 2018, mm -hmm. and I was on the board as vice president in 2019. Right. So during that time, you know, I chaired projects. I was a part of the fundraising committees. Last year, I was executive vice president, and we had two major projects last year. First one was Rock Your Socks. That Rock mm. Your Socks project was basically bringing awareness for World Down Syndrome Day. Mm. We also had uh, our safe and sober zones. So JCI is into a lot of partnering. And last year we partnered with a lot of organizations and promoters to have our safe, safe and sober zone. So we partnered with DXL, Dynasty, Ari, and we were there with our safe, safe and sober zone. And basically what our safe and sober zone is, 
this is a zone where individuals or patrons within the event could come and revive themselves. Mm. So we offer water, you know, Gatorade, come and catch yourself and you go again. Mm. And in that silver zone, we would usually partner with the TTPS and they would provide breathalyzer. We also partner with the Division of Health and they provide us with, you know, condoms and these things for our safe and sober zone. Oh, nice, nice. So it's, it's all about holistic development yes. um, for Tobago. Um, you know, I must ask you this question though. I mean, you wear so many hats. Uh -huh. um, you're an accountant. That must be a, a very tedious job. And uh, being a mother of two, you said, must be tedious. What inspired you to get into this personally? So personally, I was invited right. to GCI by my dear colleague, Miss Brittany William, who is now right. an advisor to the board. Right. You know, so I went to see what GCI was all about. And from there, I just fell in love because I was able to interact at a different level. I was able to network. I can tell you for a fact that before I joined JCI, I could not have been sitting here doing yes, this interview. Correct. JCI provides that sort of development opportunities mm -hmm. for young, well, young persons. Right, right, right. And um, before we move on to the to what you, um, the initiative that you guys have currently ongoing. Um, are you guys on any other platform, any platforms at all that young people could, could see some of your work? Um, for those who might be so in interested, if, we, if you guys have a membership base, um, for, for, for just members only, um, just direct them accordingly. Right. So we have our social media pages. We have our Instagram page, GCI Tobago, and also our Facebook page, and it is at currently and I just want to commend my PR director Miss Darian Williams for do Darian Phillips sorry for doing a wonderful job so if you are interested in joining GCI you can go to our Facebook and our Instagram also we have our general assemblies every first Thursday of the month mm -hmm. however this Thursday because of the interdepartment we pushed it to next Thursday mm -hmm. so next week Thursday at 5 p.m. we have our general assembly for February at the Fairfield complex at the Tima conference room. Okay, all right, all right. So current initiatives, um, you guys have, quite, you see, in our conversation, you said you have quite some initiatives for the year planned. Um, any any notable ones? So yes, we have few projects planned for this year. I will list some of them. Mm -hmm. So we have our period piece, mm -hmm. and this project is basically bringing awareness to teenagers or young ladies who are now going into that menstrual, menstrual cycle, mm -hmm. like, you know, because a lot of persons, you know, as a young lady, you just see it happen and you're not sure what to do, you're not, mm -hmm. you're never always informed. So we just want to bring awareness. So that's one of our projects. We will also want to partner again with the same individuals or the same institutions, institutions mm -hmm. from last year and even new ones to do our safe and sober zone. Mm -hmm. We also gonna continue our Rock Your Socks project this year. Mm -hmm. We also planning our business development seminar, which is started in April. And this is where we're giving business persons in Tobago that boost. So, you know, you come to the seminar and it will provide information where you as a business owner get that first and experience on how, how to market your business via social media using different creation, social media creations mm -hmm. and stuff, you know. We will also speak about the procurement act in this really? business amazing. seminar. Yes, all so right, right. look out for more information on our social media pages. It is coming. All right, so we, we just went down just a little bit, and um, I, I was privileged to see your page um, before coming on set, and I saw you guys have this Valentine's Day um, promotion going on, yes. um, Valentine's Day raffle, right? Um, they say. Come, love and spin? Love, love and win. Love and win? <laughs> yes. Right. So That's our right. Valentine's Day raffle is a fundraising activity that we have, right? And all you have to do is purchase one, any amount of tickets you want. The more tickets you buy, the better, the better for you. More time is only $20. And we have some... T one 20 TT, right? Correct. Right, good. And we have some wonderful prizes. So our first prize is a one-night stay for two at Comforting Hotel, mm. only $20. You could buy as much as you wish. Our second prize is a dinner for two at Serene Inn. And our third prize is a spa date at the spa in Magdalena, mm. Bath and Body Clinic. You, know, you have to rehash this. Come on. You have to rehash this. Um, so just, just tell them quickly um, while I, I try to bring it up on the screen there for, for, um, for the um, 
for media. Oh, yes. Right? Thank you very much. So it's only $20. The more tickets you buy, the more chances you have. So you could reach out to any of our board members or you could send us a message on Facebook or Instagram to purchase your tickets. All right. You, you need compliments? Comps? <laughs> <laughs> No. I guess you could probably buy your first ticket right. this morning. All right, no problem, no problem, no problem. Um, so, I mean, uh, I think uh, we have come to the end of this interview. Certainly, it was a pleasure chatting with you, Miss um, Miss da Miss Davidson, and bringing awareness as to what GCI has to offer. Guys, this is the Bigo Updates Morning Show Youth Wednesdays. My name is Duenas, and um, thank you for joining us. Remember to share the live, share the live. Share a life. We'll be right back. <laughs>